All right, I'm here to discuss DC. DC Comics, DC Universe, Multiverse, DC, UC, whatever the... DC Multiverse Universe, DCMU, DCMU, MU, DCMU, MU, DCMU, the DC Multiverse Universe. Multiverse Universe, uh, whatever. Anyways, let me get to it. So James Gunn is the CEO or takes over or CEO. I think he's the CEO now. Well, let me say this. You didn't have to fire Gail Gadot, Wonder Woman. You didn't have to fire Henry Cavell or put him out the door or what, however nicely you want to put it. They didn't. They won't say they fired him. They were let go or however they want to say that. They didn't have to. They could have left even Batfleck. They could have left Ben Affleck, Batfleck. They could have left Cave Henry Cavill. They could have left. Gail Gadot. And then if they want to do a younger Superboy or Superman, if they want to do a young or Black of oh God or Black Superman, now they're doing, I don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. Nobody knows what the hell they're doing. Okay, but they still could have left Henry Cavill. Now my question is, what are they going to do with Michael Keaton? Are they going to keep Michael Keaton? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Here they were doing the multiverse. There were going to be multi-Batmans. Multi super. They could do multi-Superman, Wonder Woman. They can do a young... You, you know, young... Uh, they, can, they could... You know what? To make more money, you could do Superman Henry Cavill movie... And you can do Black Man Superman movie too. And then you can do Young Super, whoever the new Superman is they're looking for is now. They didn't have to get rid of Henry Cavill. They didn't have to get rid of the Justice League team they had. They could have left them. Um, so now what are they going to do with Aquaman? They're, how are they going to keep Aquaman now? I mean, 2 is coming out, Aquaman 2. The Forbidden Kingdom or something, I don't know. Um, so what are they going to do? What the heck are they going to do with Aquaman? Um, the Flash. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I I can tell you I I, I did get frustrated. I'm I'm actually reading now. Leslie Grace breaks silence on axing of the Batgirl movie. There was definitely potential for a good film, and she was talking. Uh, I read a little bit. I didn't read the whole thing. That Michael Keaton was in this movie, and Brendan Fraser. And I'm wondering who the hell was Brendan Fraser in it? Was he the Penguin? <laughs> I don't know. I I, I got to find out who Brandon Fraser was. But I didn't even know he was in Batgirl. Um, and I really wasn't real happy with this Batgirl. I, it seemed pretty woke. Seems a bit woke. Uh, but I don't know. But they still could have had it. And then they could have another Batgirl. And a third Batgirl movie. With three different Batgirls. That's the way it seems to be going now. I mean, they're, you know, you know they, they were on to something. Now they brought Michael Keaton, you know. They could have left the Justice League. They could have left the great cast they had with Gail Gadot, Bat Fleck, Henry Cavill. Am I missing anyone? Uh, 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 Mike, uh, J Jason Momoa. Momoa. Jason Momoa. I, I got my lawn mower. Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. Uh, oh, okay, with well, a flash. 
Ezra Miller, but now there's a backlash. Uh, they want to cancel Ezra Miller. <laughs> People are talking on, on Twitter probably about, or, uh, or I, I just saw, saw somebody that was saying, uh, oh, it was on Facebook. I was on Facebook and somebody had a, had a talk, uh, about, um, the Flash is coming out. Oh, I just saw the, oh, I know who it, it was, Claire Bauer, talking about the Flash movie, uh, the, they saw the preview. I guess it's coming out very soon, uh, March, I don't know. Um, and then they're talking about, oh, or some lady made a comment, oh, I'm not letting my kids see that. Because of Ezra Miller, and, and I, I know he's done a lot of shit stuff. Wasn't supposed to say that. Ah, uh, dang it. All right, I don't know what else to say. And then, well, and then, well, the cy the guy that was cyborg, he's gone. He left. He got PO'd at uh, Josh Sweden. I think that's why he quit. Um... And bringing that up, why, why would DC hire Joss Whedon, who's done all the Marvel? He's Marvel. Did he do Iron Man, which uh, Marvels, was it Joss Whedon? Or the, the Avengers, he did the Avengers, most of the Avengers movie. If he didn't direct them, he produced them. He did the Avengers. He's Marvel. Why would you bring Joss Whedon from Marvel to come in and destroy DC? Look what he did with the Justice League. Singer had to come back and read, uh, or Snyder, I'm sorry, Snyder had to come back and do the Snyderverse, the, the uh, Justice League Snyderverse to fix what, what's his name, destroyed the Justice League, Joss Whedon. I think he did it on purpose. And then he was doing crappy things to um, Gail Gadot or saying stuff or they, the horrible work environment or toxic to the guy that was uh, cyborg and Gail Gadot. I don't get it. All right, well, this is already too long. I'm done. That's it. That's my review.